Hi guys, in this video we're gonna dig a little bit deeper with the channel filter knob. So remember each channel right here has a filter knob and it's a high low pass filter. So when it's all the way to the left, it's low pass. When it's all the way to the right, it's high pass. And it also has complete kill to zero when it's cut on either side all the way down. So let's hear that again. So this is actually a really good filter. It has a really good range and complete kill. So I love this filter. But it also has some other really cool features that you can add to it. So if you look at this button right here, it says filter roll and filter effects. So if I press this once, it will activate the filter roll effect. So not only will it be a high low pass filter, but now it will combine it with an auto loop roll. So you can control your auto loop rolls with this filter knob. And depending on how far you move it will dictate how fast the loop rolls go. So if you want a longer loop to roll, you just keep it sort of close to the middle. And then if you want shorter loop rolls to go faster, you just move it further to the right or the left. And it is doing the filter and the loop roll at the same time and you're controlling the loop roll with the knob. So check it out. And it also works exactly like an auto loop roll where it picks up in the song exactly where it would have been had you never triggered the loop roll in the first place, which is pretty cool. Now, the other setting you have is the filter effects setting. So if I click this button again, now it will start flashing red. So before it was solid and now it's flashing and now it will not only have the high low pass filter, but it will also automatically trigger any of the effects that I have set up assigned to this channel. And we're gonna go over effects in a later video, so don't worry, we're gonna dig much deeper, but I wanna show you this now because it's kind of part of the mixer and we just did the mixer. So right now I have the B deck assigned to my effects, so the effects on deck B are assigned to this channel right here. So here I have the spiral echo effect, which is a really cool effect that I really like. And now when I turn the filter knob, not only will it be the high pass, low pass filter, but it will also control the dry wet of the spiral echo so you can hear it a little bit more in the mix. Check it out. So that's how you adjust the different settings for each channel filter on the Newmark NV. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.